all right what's up guys it's the kid 50 uh i am back and today we're gonna be playing a new game for the channel it is dark souls 2 now uh i know my good friend and uh cousin destiny dragon god has already played this i don't know if he played through the whole thing or not but like i've seen a couple of episodes I'll just, just ignore those characters. But yeah, we're gonna start with the new character. Um, I'm thinking of going for a sorcerer, just for a little bit of a different spin. I haven't played around with you've seen intelligent stuff yet, so. In a dream, a murky, forgotten land. Souls may mend your ailing mind. You will lose everything once branded. The symbol of the curse. An augur of darkness. Your past, your future, your very light. Why don't they just give you that mark when you're born? None will have meaning and you won't even care. By then, you'll be something other than human. A thing that feeds on souls, a hollow. Long ago, in a walled off land far to the north, deep, though. A Where they at, though? King built a great kingdom. I believe they called it Drang Lake. Perhaps you're familiar. No, how could you be? But one day. You will stand before its decrepit gate without really knowing why. Okay, creepy grandma. I just noticed that this noise is similar to the noise you hear when you're near a bonfire. your fate the fate of the cursed see now this is my first dark souls game so i'm not like you know most people who play dark souls has played dark souls one you know kind of know the background and the lore and stuff I have been looking up a little bit of it though, so I do know 
sort of kind of what's going on. I know there's a cycle and everything of the king and the person being cursed, successing that king after they go mad or whatever. Very loose interpretation, but that's about all I know. this first episode I might actually go through and do like till the last giant the first boss I still don't know what to use that for or what it even has to do with like the story or anything that item. <laughs> what seems to be the ruckus? Oh my, your face. The face of the curse. It's an undead. An undead has come to play. <laughs> they all end up here. All the ones like you. You spoke to that kind old dear, didn't you? <laughs> You're finished. You'll go hollow. Yes. You'll become one of them. Hollows prey upon men, feast upon their souls. This is the fate of the cursed. <laughs> I have a question though. Like, in medieval times and stuff, didn't they, like, only live to be, like, only 40 or 50? Yet there's, like, all these older people and stuff who I'm assuming are not cursed. Um. Let's just do like. What should we be lore friendly though? Okay, I gotta got a name. No, wait, lowercase. Leonidas. Look like they have like either really bad cataracts or they're blind. Take a closer look. Who do you think it's supposed to be? Think back deep into your past. Yes, it's an effigy of you. First, we're gonna start with the class. Now, I said sorcerer, which I've never played before. So, this is my first time doing the magic thing right from the get go. I did do pyromancy once. Um, maybe we should go. <laughs> maybe we should go deprived. That'd be very interesting. I don't think I would last very long. Hmm. 
Or we could do cleric. If we do the cleric path, we can get hexes, which I know require intelligence and miracles. And since we get a nice miracle boost there, we have less dex though. And I do want to still use a weapon with the sorcerer. So I'm going to choose sorcerer and then like... Hmm. A simple petrified lump. I've never put that. I'm gonna use healing wares. That's generally the same. Oh god. Oh no. I don't want to be like. I don't know, that looks more like me. Okay, let's just go with that. Eh. <laughs> we could go with like the weekend style hair. You know, let's go with this. Change it to like a brown. I really don't. I really don't really care about what the person looks like here. So that's just gonna be about it. I don't want to waste too much time on this stuff. To break the curse. I'm gonna get into the game. You're no different, I should think. Hmm, doesn't stand a chance. Well, you never know. <laughs> Anytime there's like old ladies in this game, they always laugh for so long. I don't care about your laugh, laugh lady. And trot along to the key. Remember, hold on to your souls. They're all that keep you from going hard. Oh, I'll fool you no longer. You'll lose your souls. All of them. Over and over again. Thanks for the friendly warning <laughs> that we're going to die several times over and rage several times over. Alright, now we're in game. This is a limbo. A link between Drangleic and the outer world. Fair travel. Why else would you visit such a place? This lost I thought you were done. kingdom. Okay. Treasure chest with a nice little effigy for us. I'm just gonna put these on the hot bar. Well, not down there, but up here. And re equipping this stuff is actually better than nothing for now. So now I'm like a dark sorcerer. I guess I will be using Hex probably throughout this, so I'm probably gonna go have to go into some faith, which is why I kind of wanted to use the uh, cleric instead. But I'll put that dagger down there. Dagger is fast, but I don't think it does much damage. Let's get to it, speed run time. As you know, I don't need the torch right now. Hmm. 
Hmm. Damn soul arrows. It's actually very effective. Actually, instead of wasting all my soul arrows, I'm just gonna get them down to that and then slice them. Yeah, I'd rather not go down there. I've never went down there, and I don't think I plan on doing that for a while. That's about it for this area. Let's keep it moving. I almost walked off the edge there. You, you, give it move. Yes, you. Give us Oh. Wait a minute. Okay, apparently that's not what I was supposed to do. I don't know how I was supposed to give it the silky stone to them. I'm guessing that's what I was supposed to give to them. Those voices did creep me out a little there for a minute though. Wait, wrong way. I missed one. I'm not doing it this time. Almost every time I do that, I fall off and I rage. Ah, I missed. this life gem real quick. So that's what that smooth and silky stone is used for. Just jump down here. That was the last one. I don't know if that's like the only one in the game or something. I don't know why I was rolling afterwards, because he gets stunned after I do it. Oh, oops. Ten solar arrows left. And I know the 
there's like one guy over here. I don't know. And here we are in Majula. The uh, basically the hub of the game, where you can get to every other area in the game from. Though it may be painstaking to get to some of those places. So, uh, so I suggest about time to uh, close with this episode. I was hoping we could at least get to like one of the areas, but we're just gonna go through and do a like an area. Basically, a, a whole area next time, and whole area, a whole area. Are you the next monarch? Maybe. Or merely a pawn of fate, bearer of the curse. I will remain by your side till this frail hope shatters. Take this with you. May it ease your journey. Well, thank you, ma'am. Go. He who made Drang Lake what it once was. He who peered at the essence of the soul. King Vendrin. You may level up by the power of the Emerald Herald. Light this bonfire. Why don't we go and talk to the rest of the characters that are around town real quick. Who are you? Oh, it doesn't matter. Just help me open this door. I packed my tools in here, seeing it was vacant. Yes. But now somebody's gone and locked the door. I don't know who doesn't let there's very many people in this town. There's also some items to get, actually. Life gem here. There is, if you knock this rock down. Yeah, no, I don't want to read the message. Don't want, don't want to read the message. Okay, there we go. A free first SS flash shard. And the SS flash shards you can use to get more Estus flasks. Thought I had those pigs following me. All right. Hello there. Oh, sorry, I... Please do have a look at my wares. I could really use the business. If you'd be so kind. Sure, mate. Oh, that's bad. Twin Dragon Great Shield. Yeah, we're probably never gonna wield one of those. It's just got a bunch of armor that we can't afford well, I, right now. Let us get this Titanite Shard. And there's one last person to talk to, and there's one more item to get. Oh, I'm dead, are we? Well, when I say person, I mean. And one? Just her. about ready to fall apart, I'd say. Not exactly the time to be chatting with a cat. <laughs> I don't know why when she said I was undead, I oh, had yes. to check and see if I was you actually undead. So, ooh, you smell wonderful. <laughs> yeah, it's not creepy at all. Yeah, she can tell me like these are important later. 
And those are always good to have sometimes. Nothing suited you, I presume. Well, that's yeah, one last item. Which would be this homeward bound. Now, this is a covenant. Now, I could enter this covenant, but I want to enter the covenant of the sun. And, well, if you know what everyone says about Dark Souls, praise the sun. Praise it. Alright, well, uh, that's about it for this episode, guys. Um, I'm gonna leave here. Next episode, we will be going down this way to the Forest of Fallen Giants and uh, seeing what's to uh, see there. And on that note, I will see you guys when I see you guys. Peace out.